Hey there, this is Sassanitius Films on YouTube and Reddit, and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up and comparison of uh, two shoes that I've had with me for 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 a while now. So the pair on the left is the uh, Carmina Cordobon in, I believe, Cognac. They have darkened over time from where I used to have them, but um, I've had them since November of 2018, so it's close to three years. The pair on the right are the Allen Edmond Fifth Street boots in Bourbon, uh, Bourbon Shell Cordobon. Uh, those are uh, from 2019 Trunk Club. Uh, this model is actually discontinued, so you can't find it anymore. Uh, you can't buy it from Allen Edmonds at least. You can still find some used. Uh, you can find some used online, on eBay and maybe some forums, but. Uh, for shell cordobon, it's gonna be hard to find those. Uh, they're they're um, they were only made maybe a couple of times, I believe, uh, once in 2019, and then they had them. I don't know when. I don't know if it was 2014 ish when they last made them in, in shell, apart from 2019. Um, I think that was the last time they had made them before. Uh, I'm sorry, the first time that they had made them, it was 2014, I believe. And somebody can correct me on that, but I, I believe that's accurate. In any case, um, let's get into it. So there are some um, differences between the two. Number one, one is considerably more expensive than the other. These were $695. These were, at that time, 960 euros or 980 euros, which translated to around 1100 USD. Or eleven hundred dollars, one hundred, eleven hundred dollars. So there's a significant price difference, and there are additional details on this shoe that you get because you paid extra money for. And we'll go along and touch base on a couple, on a few of those things. Number one, let's discuss the materials. These are Shell Cordovan from Horween Factory. Both of these are Horween leather or Horween material. Uh, meaning that they're the best. They are the best show cordobin that you can buy. The other thing is they have their best respective soles possible. Day night for the rubber and le uh, JR leather for the leather soles. Now we're going to get into a little bit of the differences where you pay a little extra for the Carminas uh, than the Allen Edmonds and then you can decide for yourself if it's worth the difference because I will tell you right now Nobody has stopped me and said, oh, hey, those look better than the other pair you wore uh, because of the of the stitching being denser. That doesn't happen. That's all make-believe shit. Nobody does that. Um, only we do, really. <laughs> but uh, most people don't do that. They don't recognize it. And it just goes right over their head. They just look at it and say, hey, I like that brown. Hey, I like that, you know, the sign. I like how it's, like, got all that pattern and the sign on it. Okay, cool, thanks, you know. But... You decide whether it's important to you to have those level of details. So let's get started. We're going to start at the bottom. We're going to talk about the sole, I mean the welt. The welt on the Allen Edmonds a bit rougher. Now I did ask for the, I think they call it a split welt translucent, or I'm sorry, translucent split edge welt, I believe is what they called it. Um, basically it's a, what, Carmina calls storm welt. It's basically a small part of the welt is overlapped with the upper so that it gives a little bit more resistance to uh, water going into the shoe. Um, I will say that, that both of them have done fine. In fact, I don't think I've had a pair of shoes that's let water inside except for my Cobbler Union. My cobbler unions, I did step in a puddle and it did actually get my, my socks wet. But it is what it is. You, you don't wear those shoes to be waterproof. Now, <clears throat> when we are talking about other differences are, for example, the finishing of the welt is different on the Carminas and they're done a little bit better. The execution of it is done better. The finishing is done better. If you look at the Carminas, the welt is actually two colors. It's uh, black on the upper side, it touches the uppers, 
and it's kind of a chilly uh, color when it comes to the outer edges of them. And uh, that's attention to detail that you won't find in Nylon Edmonds. Nylon Edmonds is going to be all one color. The denser stitching, the more even execution of the, of the welt. Uh, when you look at the welt, it looks to be the same height for the storm welt all the way around. It's very consistent, it's very even, it's very well done. Whereas on the Allen Edmonds, it's a little bit more of a sloppier mess. You're going to have little waves in the, in the welt where it's uneven, it's a little bit higher in some spots, a little bit lower in others. Um, also, little things like, for example, the seam on the heel uh, counter area, it's, it's not as tight as the Carmina's. This one looks okay, but if I show you the other one here, you guys can tell that it's got a little bit of a gap there. You can even see a little bit of, of the hole, a hole in there. And it's, it's not a big deal, but it's little details like that that you'll notice. All over the shoe, you will see how the broguing is not as sharp or crisp as on the Carmina. The triangles that are created, I believe it's called pinking. Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's called pinking. Uh, it's not as sharp as on the Carmina. The Carminas have very nice sharp um, uh, triangles created with a roller instead of a pressed on machine that actually does all the broguing and the pinking all in one shot. Hence the lack of details versus these being put in by hand and these being rolled in by hand. So you have better quality there. You have more consistency, uh, sharper details. And of course you have to pay for that. Another thing too is if you look at the medallions, uh, this is one thing that it slightly bugged me but not enough to really cause a big deal about it. And that had to do with the medallion. The medallion on the Allen Edmonds is oversized for the shoe size. Whereas on the Carmina, they have a medallion that fits the size of the cap area of the shoe. So it fits and it looks proportionately adequate. Whereas on the Allen Edmonds, it just looks like they don't have enough medallion sizes to fit every size shoe and if somebody may say oh well that's how the shoe is designed it's actually not if you go to their website uh, and you pull up a fifth street image or you go to google and look up fifth street boot uh, for allen edmonds you're going to find many of them including shell cordovan models where the medallion is the proper pr proportion to the shoe this is just again a cheaper shoe it's a less expensive shoe. It still looks great, it still looks fantastic, but there's concessions to be made whenever you pay less. Another detail is on the inside. Let's go ahead and take off the shoe trees. On both shoes, and I will show you what I am referring to. Some of y'all can already tell uh, by the lining, but yes, um, the the lining is different. Uh, while both are nice calf lining, uh, the Carmina's is a little superior. Number one, they have different color linings available on the Carmina's. You can have a red, you can have a violet, you can have a uh, black. Uh, uh, there's different colors that they have. And another point is the leather itself is very, very supple, very, very very incredibly soft. Something that the Allen Edmond, while it's soft as well, it's not to the same degree. Another thing that we're gonna look at is the inside on the Allen Edmonds. They use a one-piece uh, uh, tan, uh, bench tan sole, which is good. But on the inside, they have some lettering, letting you know, hey, this is an Allen Edmond shoe but it doesn't really give you more info than that it just says custom core cancel um you know uh i think it said what was it handcrafted in the usa from imported leather so it's a generic insole that they use for their made in america shoes 
Whereas on the Carminas, you have the beautiful red lined leather, which was in made to order. Um, and then you also have a very interesting piece of shell cordobon on the inside of the footbed of the heel. So you have a nice little piece and it says genuine shell cordobon, Carmina shoemaker, Goodyear welted, made in Spain. So they're letting you right, know right off the bat that you didn't get a basic Carmina shoe in calfskin. They're letting you know, hey, you pick a shell cordoban model, and by the way, here's a shell cordoban um, a footbed for you to rest your foot in. It's made out of genuine shell cordoban. It's made with, you know, a Goodyear welt. It's made in Spain, and uh, they're proud of it. They want you to see that when you take your shoe off. Now, Allen Edmund does have something similar, but as you could tell, it's already kind of going away. Uh, you still have the Horween, uh, you know, genuine Horween shell cordovan. It says Allen Edmonds, but it's in the sole, and this is very cheap to do. You just get a little press or a little uh, stamp made. You could go in and stamp it right in. Go in with a little hammer, boop, hit it a couple times, maybe heat it up, burn it into the leather. Um, you have options there, but it's cheaper to do than to take a piece of the shell cordovan, stamp on there, you know, what you just purchased, and put it on the footbed. It's just an extra level of detail that you get when you get a shoe like the Carmina. Other things, for example, is on the bottom of the, of the, of the sole, this is a day-night sole. This is a genuine, made in, in, in England, genuine day-night sole. But they got rid of the branding and put their own. They put Carmina Shoemaker and their own little symbol there. It's little de attention to details like that that lets you know, hey, you paid a little bit extra, let's go a little bit beyond and, uh, above and beyond to ensure that your shoe is truly as best as possible. Now, I'm not knocking out at Edmonds because again, two very different price points, $695, $1,100. So you can't really uh, criticize Allen Edmonds too much for that. Now, had they been charging the same price, then yes, I'd say, hey, you know, Alan Edmonds, you might want to step it up. Your competition is completely wiping the floor with you. But in this case, could Alan Edmonds replicate what Carmina did? I'm sure they could, but you have to pay more money for them to spend way more time on these shoes to make them to the same level of, of, of attention to detail as these. But if we just step back and get out of that enthusiast mentality and look at them for what they are, which is too beautiful pairs of shoes you can't knock either one both of them look fantastic both of them uh, look great uh, they have a lot of depth of color they have nice designs and shapes and 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 they're also very comfortable so uh, there is also that do they serve their function well yes they serve the function very well they're both very comfortable they both keep my feet dry um, and yeah so Anyways, if you liked the video, let me know. Uh, if you want to correct me on anything that I said, please feel free to. And in any case, thanks very much. Yeah.